Hello and welcome to my channel and here we have another box of Theros. I enjoyed opening the first box I did and I so I decided to go out and get another one. <laughs> Alright, so um, just like the other one, uh, we will do um, 12 packs per video. Um, Partly because I tend to ramble a lot, and that takes that makes the videos go long. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine so far. Uh, ten, eleven, twelve. There we go. All right. So without further ado, let us start. I just really love opening boosters. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because I've, I'm addicted to the randomness of it all, like a lottery or something. <laughs> I did get good luck uh, in the first pack, uh, in the first box, sorry. And hopefully that uh, I get the same kind of luck here. So let us skip through most of the uh, most of the comments. And what do we got? So we got Nemesis of Mortals, Ordeal of Erebos, Arena Athlete. Okay, target creature can. Oh, okay. He's the uh, short cutter uh, heroic. All right. And the rare in this pack is Ta da! Colossus of Arcos. Okay, that's not a good start. As for flavor, that this is an amazing creature in terms of flavor, but. Not in terms of an actual quality card. All right, next up we've got I have I have considered trying mapping software and stuff and, and all that. I've seen that on YouTube a few times. Um, to be honest, it doesn't matter to me because I opened the whole thing anyway. I don't know why I would keep too many boosters maybe for my own drafts or something i guess but i it's just too much of a hassle really all these cards are so far pretty good and i like to have as many cards as i as i can get so we get this pack we get dissolve peak eruption fastest emissary and oh xanagos the reveler awesome this is my second Xanagos, um, so I'll fit well in a in nice aggro deck. I should consider using him. Um, right now, my main the decks I'm working on is Mono Red, um, pretty much because it's relatively simple, uh, and Black and Blue. Um, still trying to work on the Black Blue one, but I. Kind of like how it plays out. So, this pack has a Stone Shock Giant, Dauntless Onslaught, Flame Speaker Adept, and Celestial Archon. Ah, this is the white uh, intro pack uh, foil, I think. Uh, expensive bestow, 7, but flying first strike. For 5 as a creature, 5 for 4 for first strike flying. That's uh, That's pretty good. And that's a long, that's a bunch of words that I never thought I'd say, <laughs> I thought I'd be saying in one sentence, one straight sentence. Alright, there we got planes, and the golem token, I love the golem token. Well, the golem itself not too bad, but I love the little stars in the border and whatnot. Alright, next up. Let's see. What have we got here? All right, we got Anvil. Oops! Oh, we crap! Um, my bunch of cards exploded. <laughs> All right, Get back in there. Rearrange. Done. All right, Anvil Rob Raptor, Centaur Battlemaster, Ordeal of Nylea, and oh, nice Temple of Deceit. That actually works very well for me. All right, then got a Swamp. And add card. Ugh. Those who've watched my channel probably already knows 
or watched previous videos already knows I hate ad cards with a passion. They're useful. I use them actually as dividers in my um, in my collection box. So they're not all they're not all useless. It's just that uh, I've got too many of those already. All right, we got an ordeal of Heliod, Hunt the Hunter, Erebos' emissary. Ooh, fancy. We got Melitus Charlatan. Huh? Three to cast two three. Okay. Um, for three, tap the controller of target instant. Oh, okay. It's well, it's the uh, copy. Okay, it copies a sorcery or instant. But you need three mana, and this thing you can't use it on when this thing comes into play. So a little slow, but all right. Ah, no foil wave crash triton. Ooh, fancy. All right, it's forest and the ever so hated ad card. Ugh. All right. Out of the way. Now is it add card? Yep. Get that out of the way. All right, perfect. Makes things less annoying. <clears throat> All right, battle log. All right, let's see. Anything? Any interesting comments so far? Not, not too much. All right. So we got a Kragma War Caller. Ooh, Minotaur. Minotaur Tribal for the win. All right. Karametra's Acolyte, because you can't have too many syllables. Satyr Piper. And Storm Breath Dragon. Oh, nice. Our first mythic of the box, is it? Oh, no, the second mythic. Second mythic of the box, the first was Xenagos. I keep thinking the Planeswalker are rares, not mythics. Hmm. All right, so nice. It's a nice dragon. The Foil Swamp and the Planes. All right, next up, we've got uh, a strong pack with have a extraordinarily strong packaging. All right, or maybe I'm just weak. Whatever, probably I'm weak. All right, that's a token, so good. Okay, what have we got here? Okay, I <laughs> had giant fox. <laughs> I know, we've got tons of those already. <laughs> okay, Ordeal of Heliod, Hunt the Hunter, Cutthroat Maneuver, and the rare is oh, Daxos of Melitus. Uh, Alright, this time I'm going to find out what it actually does. When deals combat damage to a player, so this has to hit the player, exile top card of that player's library. You gain life equal to that card's converted mana cost. Until end of turn, you may cast that card. So, you, and you may spend mana as though it were mana of any color to cast it. All right, that's actually, all right. I'm going to have to think about how that works, but at least now I know what it does, kind of. That's just way too much text. Uh, probably if I use that, if that's used in, if that's used against me in the game, or if I, or if I use that in the game, it'll probably, those games will probably take a long time to it won't finish it. It'll take a long time just after one attack and if it gets through. Alright. Next up. Okay. So. Okay. My computer just went to sleep again. Sweet. I should turn out that sound. Alright. Horizon Chimera. Heli Heliod's Emissary. Insatiable Harpy. Ugh. Ugly bastards. And the rare is Hythonia the Cruel. Oh, our third mythic. Death touch for six, death touch for six. And when it becomes monstrous, destroy all non-Gargon creatures. Pretty awesome. If you can manage the eight uh, casting eight cost monstrosity. But you know, who knows? Um Theros is supposedly well, the format right now is definitely slower. Um and I believe it does benefit to it does benefit when the games are slower there are many cards here that will benefit in slow games but there are still certain cards like um, green for example has a lot of ramp mana ramp right now and it's kind of scary <laughs> with how much mana they can generate between devotion and their regular stuff 
Okay, so we got Gainsay, Warrior's Lesson, Farica's Mender, and the rare is 100 Handed One. It's neat. As far as monster creatures go, this one takes the cake in terms of flavor. I love this card. A foil opalin unicorn and a mountain. All right, so far, rare wise, we've got some good cards. Quite, quite a bunch of good cards. Um, nothing major, maybe except for Xenagos and the temple. Value wise, cost wise, the temple. Uh, the price is not too high at the moment. Um, it's eight bucks at my local shop, uh, twelve for the foil. So, it's valuable. It's it's still a weekend after release. Uh, so, the value of those uh, scrylands will be determined probably in the next few more weeks. All right. So this pack we got Stone Shock Giant, Nihilus Emissary, Favorite Hoplite, and Tada. Perforos, God of the Forge. Perfect. This is actually my first god in booster boxes. I did get Heliod from the from the uh, Devotion to Darkness intro pack. So that this technically is my second god in all the packs I've opened. Well no, technically the third, because I did get Perforos in the pre-release. So right now I'm in possession of three gods. And this will go perfectly in my current red deck exactly what I was looking for all right so I am very happy that's we are 10 packs in and three mythics and three good mythics right that's important mythics mythics are mythics but you know not all mythics are created equal I'm just glad I got perforos all right this is the second to the last pack of this third of the box. Okay, we got Sea God's Revenge, Magma Jet, nice. Put that aside. I think I don't have a full set of that yet. Those, I think that's my fourth. All right, got Sea Lock Monster, and then our rare is Whip of Erebos, nice. Creatures you control have Life Link. Just. Awesome card. A foil arena athlete. Ooh, let's see. And the planes. Alright, so this is the last or pack number 12, I believe. I hope so. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, okay. I know I counted beforehand, but I always have to check. Alright, next up. here this so well let's get rid of the ad card maybe that's giving us some good luck it was a soldier token okay could always use a lot of those all right next up we got in this pack ooh phalanx leader that's a quality that's a quality heroic card right there that's good put that aside peak eruption decorated griffin and our rare is, do we end this third of the box in a high note? Well, higher note. Sorry, we've got excellent cards so far. A hammer of Perforos. So now I've got Perforos and his hammer. Ah, uh, I love it when, I love it when these things happen. So creatures you control have haste for three mana. And this thing, with this you can generate golem tokens. 3-3 three, three Golem Tokens, and when you generate a to Golem Token, it'll have haste. Sadly, you can only do once a turn, so uh, it does tap the hammer, but whatever. It's still good. It's still actually awesome. So, I'm glad to get it. Swamp. Alright, so we've got some really quality rares here. Um, hammer of Perforos, Whip of Erebos, so two legendary... Piece of uh, artifacts, Perforos the God, a uh, bunch of other stuff. Storm Breath Dragon is our other mythic. Temple of Deceit for a Square Land, Xanagos, which is perfect. And yeah, I guess you know, opening with Colossus uh, was a bit of a not, it was a bit of a downer, but you know, I actually like this card. It's pretty good. I've 
I'm still wondering if I if there's a way to get him monstrous. And it would be a 2020 2020 beater with trample. <laughs> All right. Well, this is the first third of the box, and we'll be back with this next with packs 13 to 24. All right. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.